So now let's take a look at how to work with library right over here. So if I were to click library, you can see that a bunch of folders appear where all of the files that you import are saved. But over here, nothing has been imported yet, so you don't see anything as of now. So what you can do is, if I were to go over here onto media, and if I were to go to image right over here, and choose an image and import that out, you can see that it gets uh, imported over here in images section right over here. So let me just resize this out right over here, just like this, hold shift, and then move it around over here. So I can move it anywhere freely as you can see right over here. And then the image is there. I can also click over here and then import out another images, image right over here onto the fluid box. And you can see that there's another image right over here. Let me just bring in another image as well. So I'm going to bring in an image uh, just like this. All right, so another image right over here. So you got three images in the overall uh, project as you can see but if I were to delete them so for example if I were to delete this I'm going to delete this out and delete this you you notice that they don't get deleted from uh, the library section that is because they are not deleted and if you were to publish the project what happens is that even these images get saved so usually you do not want that to happen if you want the images back what you can simply do is you can click and drag the images out here and you can see that that is how you can arrange it out. You can click and drag the image out right here, just like that. Click and drag the image out right here. And you can do that because they are already in the library, just like that. But if you want, are sure of the images that you're uh, using and you don't want any more, then what you may want to do is delete out everything that's unused. So uh, over here, like some of the files are unused over there. So what you might want to do is as a, to select unused items right over here and you can see that that is highlighted let me just delete this one as well and click on this button again so over here select unused items and you get these options right here so you're able to update this so you can go over here and update this out as well so if uh the images are um, like a change for some reason in the source file so you can update this out as well but anyways let me just select these that the, i know that they are unused now so i can simply delete this out right over here as you can see so these are the options and over here there are other options you have as well so you can go to the users and you get you see where uh, the image is being used for example the image on slide one as you can see right over here there's other options like you can see the properties right over here you can update it out right over here and you can import out other uh, pictures as well so let me just go around here and select this out and the picture gets updated as you can see right over here you can also edit out the picture right over here and then you can choose the program with which you want to edit to so these are the options which are uh, provided right over here just like that there's also other option right over here like you can open up the library right over here uh, and select the library, the Captivate library over here, uh, which have been saved, or you can also go over here and then you can import or export. So you can go over here, import out uh, more images over here as well. So for example, I'm going to go around here and then import this out just like this. So more, uh, one item has been imported as you can see right here. So you can click and drag it out and keep the image as well, just like that. You can also export it out so you can see that there's import this export as well so you can save like particular images of um, a project right over here let's say for example in desktop and save it out there and now it is saved in desktop as you can see right over there and th this is how you can utilize the library uh, inside of Adobe Captivate so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe